Hello, everybody. I've never done a video like this before, but um, this is a video where I talk about putting together a do it yourself LED stage light system. This is a great system for DJs or for bands. I actually play in a band. I'm looking for a good, inexpensive way that we can introduce light to our shows without uh, going out and buying professional systems. And I think I hit, hit upon something that's pretty inexpensive, pretty impressive, pretty easy to use. And I'll just tell you what it consists of. Uh, most of the parts that I've made here consist of plumbing parts that you can buy at your hardware store. PVC or ABS fittings. Here are the actual spotlights are made of uh, one and a quarter inch uh, couplers and caps, threaded caps. And uh, I just in put a, uh, uh, a LEDs in the end of them. But you can see how this fits. I've got a uh, threaded coupler there and the cap itself. I cut the back end off the cap and what I've done is in a, I wanted to get mobility and be able to adjust these so I uh, used a one and a quarter inch wooden ball that I bought at the local craft store and I've screwed onto this ball a five sixteenth five sixteenth inch coupling nut. I used a, uh, a hanging bolt to do that. The uh, light is actually held in a T slot on the T on a bar with the use of a carriage bolt. You can see I, uh, a 5 16th inch carriage bolt that I screw into the other end of the coupling nut. So to put this together I've got uh, I put the ball through the uh, cup or through the cap that I've cut the back end off of. I put a washer in the front of it that I made out of a piece of milk jug, a cart from a milk jug, and uh, then I screw this cap onto the fitting, and actually the compression presses against the ball and allows me to pivot that and point it in any direction that I want to uh, the light to go. So it's a pretty simple system. It works great. The uh, LEDs, like I say, I had to create a circuit board. I used seven LEDs. They're all RGB LEDs, so I can get three colors out of them. And uh, I put the circuit board in there, and I hardwired them. I actually used Cat, Cat 5, Category 5 cable. Uh, this cable's fairly inexpensive. The jacks and the plugs are cheap. And uh, so when I put this all together, when I tighten the back end, it actually puts pressure against the wooden ball, and I can adjust it direction that I want. There is the Cat5 cable and uh, the plug. Now I mount this in a uh, light bar or in a wooden bar that I made. You can see the wooden bar has T-slots on three sides and the fourth side has uh, plugs for the Cat5 cable. And anything you put in these T-slots using a 5 16 inch carriage bolt, the head slides in the, in the uh, slot, and when you tighten it up against the item that uh, the uh, carriage bolt goes into, you can actually mount it there. You can see I have five Cat5 plugs here. They're all wired together, and five will allow me to plug in four lights and give me one uh, plug to bring, introduce power to it. There you can, you can see the T-slots. Now I mount the uh, the light bar on the top of a tripod using some more plumbing fixtures. This is an, an ABS, a PVC uh, compression uh, fitting. It's an inch and a half. And uh, I used a, a reducer on the other side of it. And in the middle of the reducer, I put a wooden uh, dowel. And I put a threaded insert in there, a 5 16th inch threaded insert to accept the 5 16th inch carriage bolt. So I'm going to mount this, or use this to mount the light bar to the top of the tripod. Pretty simple. I have my 5 16 inch carriage bolt there. And I'm just going to slide that over there. I'm going to tighten it up. When you tighten it up, it compresses it, so the thing will not move. And now I've got uh, a source to mount my light bar. Now the cool thing about these light bars are there's three T-slots. Uh, one on three sides, and then the back side has the uh, <coughs> the plugs for the Cat5 cables. But any t anywhere I put my fixtures, I put it to where I want, I tighten them up, and they're going to stay right there. And so you can uh, put it in any position. You can point them in any direction that you want. And uh, after you get them set in the T-ball, it's just a matter of plugging them in and energizing the unit. 
Just have you plug it in, turn around and show you. So uh, again, just plug it right in there. Uh, the back side of this T-bar is actually hollow, and you can, uh, I, I put a cover over it so you can't see the wires inside, but you can not see the uh, Cat5 jacks, and that's what I plug into to get my power. So here I'm going to actually mount the uh, light bar to the tripod, and I tighten it up on the light bar and then slide it over the tripod and then tighten it up on the tripod. So I've got my foundation. This is low. Uh, if you put them on there you can raise it. So now I'm going to put my lights on the light bar and slide the head of the carriage bolt into the T-slot. Put it in the position where I want the light to be. Give it a couple twists, tighten it up in there. And now I'm ready to plug it in and I can direct that light wherever I need to. Because there are three slots in it, you don't have to put them all on the same side. Say you wanted a light going upwards or pointing upwards, I could, or downwards even, I can uh, introduce a light into the bottom T slot, slide it to wherever I want it, tighten it up, and point it in the direction that I want the light to go. In this example, I'm going to put a, a fixture on the top, in the top T-slot, just slide it in, slide it over, get it to the spot where I want it, tighten it up, and put one more in here. Front, the bottom, I guess. Put it on, slide it in, move it over, tighten it up. Now I'm ready to plug this thing in. So I spin my bar around just to show you here. And when I plug this in, this is actually energized so you see the lights go on. I guess it's not energized. Ready to shine wherever you want it to shine. Now I'm going to energize it. Plug it in, and voila, light. You know, this is a, a great system. It's inexpensive. Uh, you can adjust it, put it the way you want it. Uh, this all folds down, so when you want to take it from to a gig, it's pretty easy to transport. Uh, you can make as many lights as you wanted, as your light bar would accommodate, and you have jacks uh, to introduce power to. If you would like to order plans to put together your own uh, LED light system, I'm going to make them available. You can contact me by email at info at merchandise.com. Also show the email at the end of this video. But uh, it's pretty simple, pretty inexpensive, and it can really make a difference. We appreciate you watching our video today, and we wish you a good day. Thank you.